Hello, and welcome to our newest episode of Thriving Together. This is through collaboration between the Senior Center and BevCam, Beverly's cable TV station. And the purpose of this is we know when we work together, we thrive. The Senior Center has many, many opportunities to work together. So we want to promote the Senior Center, promote activities for people over 60. Today I have, as my two guests, Paul and Mary Ellen McGrail, who graduated with me 60 years ago from Beverly High School. So any Beverly High School graduates, you definitely want to watch this episode. So, let me first ask, um, uh, let me start with you, Mary Ellen. W tell me a little bit about your involvement in the reunion committee. And I don't know if that's what it would be called. That's what we call it, is the uh, reunion committee. And um, we've worked on, this is our third um, class reunion that we've worked on. And we enjoy seeing the people from our class and uh, it's fun to plan it and to see the whole thing through. Mm -hmm. So there, there must be a lot. And I, and I know I'm, I'm going to say two weeks ago or something like that, I received a postcard in the mail with Paul's name telling us the date of the yeah. upcoming reunion in the fall in October and just to save the date. It was just a save the date card. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how that came yeah. to be? Um, first of all, Carol, uh, McGrail is Mary Ellen's maiden name. Oh, did I say that by mistake? But, uh, no, we're, yeah. we're the Mazurkas oh. now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I, my apologies. That's all right. My no, apologies. No problem. Uh, I just didn't want people to think I changed my last Thank name you. to McGrail. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, the postcards we sent out to approximately 300 classmates, um, though we had, I think, over 400 graduate, but 100 or so have left us. Uh, so out of the 300 uh, postcards we sent out, we've uh, got about 30 returned uh, because of unknown address. Oh. Uh, the address that we had were no good. So. Um, uh, there's still a few out there, and we hope the people are going to come, and we will be sending out um, invitations to get the final payment right. for those who want to come. Right. Uh, right. We'll be sending them out in August, I think it is, Mary yes. mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be our last one. It's going to be our 60th class reunion. So we hope a lot of people who haven't showed up in the past will come to this one. Uh, and what's different about it is, uh, instead of being at night, it's going to be during the day at the Danvers Port. Um, and it's going to be uh, a fun time, I think. Because a lot of us no longer drive at night. I yeah, know that's I one reason we switched it night. to the daylight mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me a little bit about tracking down people's addresses. So when something gets returned to you, do you have any way of doing something else yeah, to contact uh, people. Well, to get the initial address that we sent the cards out to was a lot of work because uh, sure. the ones we had, people moved, so we had to uh, re-look them up uh, by computer or word of mouth. Uh, um, Sue Welper and her daughter Allison have been very much involved in that. Uh, but once the cards come back, to answer your question, we can't research it any further, you know, because time is of the essence. Of course. And uh, we've already done that. Right. So right. we hope that right. the people who return the cards, if they want to come, hopefully they'll get in touch with us. Right. And we'll be glad to put them on the list. You know? Right. Right. So this may be a way to let anybody out there know if you have a friend or relative who graduated from Beverly High School in 1964, this is our 60th reunion, and we'd, we'd love to have you there. Yeah, that's right. So I know 
every year, one of my high school friends, so Mary Ellen was a good friend of mine in high school. Mm -hmm. Another good friend was Patty Raffanello, Patty Costa now. And she lives in Beverly. We hardly see each other in between reunions, but we always plan to go to the reunions together. Our husbands were not from Beverly High School, so they don't know anybody, so they wouldn't have a good time, or we think they wouldn't have a good time, or maybe it's just that we have a good time without them for the <laughs> evening yeah. or for the day. So we, as soon as I got your card, I called Patty and said, do we have a date? <laughs> Do yeah. we have a date? And she said, absolutely. <laughs> so I know that she, she's going to be my date for, well, the, for, the, for the reunion. Yeah. So I know that one of our reunions was very special to you. And let me introduce it by saying, I, she, at some point after graduation, each of you married somebody else. And those marriages ended. Then tell us what happened at one special reunion for you. Well, it was the one that we had in um, 1999. And um, we just happened to, shortly before the reunion was over, we happened to start to talk to each other. We saw each other and we were talking. and. Um, we decided that maybe we'd get together again sometime, <laughs> but it was almost a year, I think, before we did actually get together after that. And sooner or later, <laughs> we got married. <laughs> so the reunion led to a reconnection and you two getting married. So how long have you been married now? Uh, about 18 years, uh, 2006, we got married. Um, and I should add that that, was, uh, that reunion was our 35th, and it was held at a place that's no longer there anymore. On Route 128 was the King's Grant. Oh, yes. Which a lot of people probably remember. That's right. Yeah. That's um, right. So King's Grant. Yeah. Okay, so you, the reunion was 99. Yeah. And you got married? In 2006. Okay, yeah. so you, you went out during those seven years? Yeah, we dated. Uh, well, yeah, we dated. We dated um, until she asked me to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no okay. I, I did the asking. You did? Yeah. <laughs> um, so it was uh, a few years, and um, July 29th, 2006, we tied the knot again. C congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. I, I remember hearing about it and just feeling very, very happy for you. And I do feel very happy for you. Yeah. So anybody that's watching, not that there's a guarantee that coming to the reunion will allow you to reconnect with someone this deeply, but there's always that chance. <laughs> you just don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. And they can... Uh... They can contact me at my address, um, Paul Mazurka at 24 Maple Street, Kingston, New Hampshire, 03848. Or if they want to call, they yeah. can call my land phone, 603-347-1455. And we'll see if we can put them on the list. Beautiful. Um, we are limited to a certain number of people because we had to um, put a hold on a, 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 a venue this, at the Danvers Sport right. in, in Danvers. Uh, so the sooner the better. Right. Um, right. So it should be a fun time. And again, Thank it's you. our last one. So those who haven't been before, we hope to see them right. and well, others. So w you've said that this is the last one. Is this a standard thing that reunions happen for 60 years and then they don't happen anymore? Or how, how, have, how have you decided this is the last one? Oh, I think the committee just decided that, you know, we were getting to the age where... <laughs> Nobody it, wants to plan it. Yeah, it's, it gets a little overwhelming. Yeah. Well, plus a lot of people have a hard time driving today. Or right. If yeah, they're right. out of state, flying. Right. Uh, right. You know, so... Uh, 
we just think yeah. we've done many of them so far. Mm -hmm. you know. And so this, this is yeah. enough. Okay, so nobody, we don't want to miss this one. So I want to yeah. say a little bit about Joey D'Angelo, who was, was he the president he of our class? He was the class president. And he became a Beverly police officer. And I often saw him downtown. Fortunately, he never arrested me. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but I was cool. always happy to see him downtown. Yeah. And he was also one of the, my understanding is he was one of the primary organizers of most of our reunions. Is, am I correct there? That's correct. Yes. Yeah, he, d he did a lot. But now he's moved to Florida mm -hmm. and... He's planning on coming to the reunion. Oh, good, though. good. So we'll look forward to him. But he's mm -hmm. not doing any of the work of it this year. No, we uh, we we gave him a, <laughs> a respite yeah. from it. <laughs> right. He's definitely entitled yeah. to a break. Is it okay to mention the the members uh, that are on the please uh, please do reunion we want committee. to give them credit and I yeah. want to, before you do I I want to say I'm I'm a member of a good variety of groups. And at different times, I've taken leadership positions or not. And it's a lot of work. Whatever the cause is, whatever the group is, it's a lot of work. So mm -hmm. um, I, I hope that we have a chance to say thank you to the organizers at, mm -hmm. at this reunion. But go ahead, mm -hmm. tell us, tell us yeah, who's been involved. Maybe you'll have to help me with uh, maiden names. But we have uh, Paul Marciano, oh, yeah. Dave Contarino on the committee. As well as uh, Sue Walper, um, Patty Bennett, which is Patty Innes, okay. and uh, Patty Porter, who right. is uh, maiden name is Patty Sedanowitz. Um, we have uh, Janice Cannavale, I believe her marriage name is uh, Janice Rice. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Carol Giles, I, I think she was mentioned earlier. Carol Ternawa. Okay. And um, I know I'm forgetting someone. Um, help me out, Mary Ellen. Um, <laughs> but if I forgot... Well, don't forget uh, Joe. I mean, he's in Florida, but oh, yeah. he keeps in contact with, right. with the committee yeah. anyway. Yeah, so a, a lot of people have been doing a lot, yeah. of, this, a lot of this work for this. Yeah, I believe there's a total of nine members. Uh, I hope I didn't forget uh -huh. anyone. How, how often no. do you meet? Tell, give me an idea um, about what the, what, when did the planning for this reunion begin? Was it February? Yeah. I think it was February. And when, how often do you meet? And do you meet in person on Zoom yeah. or yeah. what? No, we meet in person. We meet at Sue Walper's house. Is that in Beverly? Yeah. Is she yeah. in Beverly? Yeah, we, we've met uh, maybe every two to three months on an uh -huh. average basis, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and uh, it is a lot of work. Yes, um, yes. Um, it's a lot of work, not hard work, but, you know, mentally it's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's just uh, busy, you know. Right. Uh, putting it all together. And, and it's a shame because out of 400 class members, I think the last reunion we only had, I think it was less than 70 right. people. Uh, and the odds aren't that great, but right. you know, understandably so in a way because yeah. people live, you know, today so right. far away. Not right. everybody's from Beverly still, right? You right. Know? Um, but it's a lot of work for that few people that right. come. So hopefully this year more will come. Mm -hmm. you know? And there's also a, a breakfast or a brunch. Uh, that's in August. That's right. um, for all the Beverly High School graduates. Right. Do you have anything to do with that? No. No. Oh, no, you, you don't. We okay. go to it, but we... Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. I, I went for... Because it's for 50-year graduates or more, right? Right. Am I remembering that right? Yeah. So I think I went at the 50th, but I don't usually go. Yeah. So I, it's not something I do, but... I think the way it's set up, uh, Nancy Kavanaugh... Oh, yes. Is a Beverly High graduate, right. not in our class. I think she was. Uh, I think she was a year or two. A little behind. younger yes. than us, yeah. and uh, she organizes it with a member of each class. In our class, the one that works with Nancy 
is um, Sue Walper, which oh, her maiden oh, name so is uh, Lieberman. Lieberman. Um, right. So she organizes part of it with the class of 64, and they designate one for every other class. Right. So, oh, that's got to be so a big job. Yeah, it's that's coming up. And again, job. the number of people are getting less and less the older we get, you know, the well, less people. But, that, but because that includes all, like, 50-year graduates and beyond, I would think there would be more every year. Because there's new people every year. Yeah, no. But uh, it doesn't. For an example, someone threw a figure at me last week that usually it is around 500 people yeah. attending that. But the last one, or this one, I forget which, is only about 200 coming. Oh, that's a huge so that's change. that's a big, big difference. That's a huge change. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's because of COVID and people just stopped yeah. going out so much. I wonder if that is It could be. Do. I don't know. Yeah. Well, so let me ask you about something that's not, not as pleasant a topic. My memory is that at past reunions, there's been something to acknowledge people who have died, class members who have died. Is that something that's going to happen this year? Do you know? Well, there is a list that we, I think Sue has it. Uh -huh. um, of people who have passed away. Yeah, because as we, I mean, we graduated from high school 60 years ago, and a lot of us have died. We're, we're fortunate to be among those yeah. still yeah. walking around. And I'm always amazed by, even when you were saying all the names of the people involved, I know them. Like, I, not because I do something with them every week, right. but they're just, it's familiar to me. I just... Yeah. Remember it. We, one name I just thought of, we forgot. We forgot to mention Nancy Becker. Yes. Which Nancy Sader was her. Yes. Oh, right, right. And She's I, on the I committee. I apologize, also. Nancy, if you're, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> but speaking of those people, they're not with us anymore. Out of, I think it was 420 classmates that graduated, approximately. Uh, I think the list of people who have passed. Was 110. 110. Out of 420. Right. So 25 percent. I wonder that's, if that's like this. That's a lot. What you'd expect for our age. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure. you know. Yeah. So I want to tell you about something very funny that happened. I'm going to say 10 years ago, but my sense of time's past is not good. It might not be 10 years. So my my husband's career was. Oh, it's got to be more than that. It's got to be 20 years ago, 20 years, maybe 20 years ago. So my husband's work was as a carpenter and a builder. And so he, and he works with, worked with different people at different times. Yeah. So he was working with this guy named Joe, who he really liked. And he said to me one day, I want to invite Joe and his wife over for dinner. I said, fine, that's fine. And so we set up a time. They're coming for dinner. And, and I said, what's her name? And he said, her first name's Betty. So they come to the door. And who is it but Betty Sharp? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember no, Betty Sharp from our class? And I don't remember the married name, no. an Italian name. But I don't remember <laughs> what it was. So she came to the door. And she, she said, Carol. And I said, <laughs> Betty, and I, I, I pulled mm -hmm. out the yearbook, so we, we, had a, we had a nice dinner, and then Betty and I just sat there and went through the yearbook and talked about all of the people that yeah. we had each had contact with, and they, they live, like, just a few blocks from us, oh, not, wow. not very far, mm -hmm. but that was kind of the yeah, funniest it is. reunion mm -hmm. story, <laughs> an unexpected, an unexpected gathering, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So, have you, separate from the planning, have you kept in touch with many Beverly High graduates? Well, mostly the people that are on the committee that we've worked with, um, because we live in New Hampshire. So, right. Um, How did you end up getting involved? How did that happen, that you got involved with the committee? I can't really remember. Um, I, I really can't. Um, 
Do you, do you remember, Mary Helen? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was, so Sue Walper, who I, um, let me think, where did I see her? I think it was at, at the library, not in the summer, but fall through spring, there are Monday morning meetings, presentations that I often go to. Mm -hmm. And I think it was at one of those that Sue Walper was there. And she told me about the reunion. This was before I got your card. Mm -hmm. she, she told me about, she told, gave me yeah. the date. Well, actually, Sue uh, lived near me when, uh, before Paul and I were married. And uh, she had a daughter that was in the same class with my daughter. Wow. So, um, you know, we kind of kept in touch that way. Right. And that's how, you know, I knew she was on the committee, so I, I think right. that's how I got involved in it. We both wanted to mm. be involved in it. Yeah, yeah. I've thrown a few names out there. When you ask if we keep in touch with some yeah. of the classmates, uh, um, I had a few of my friends pass away mm. uh, recently. Uh, one was Earl Finney. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. Who lived not too far from this high school. Mm -hmm. um, and Jimmy Casali was one that was a little younger than us. Mm -hmm. um, and um, not a classmate, but John Tuddy I lost also. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. But a few we keep in touch with is uh, uh, a gentleman from Beverly, a few years younger, Tom Maletta. Who I just spoke to yesterday. Oh, yeah. And I um, think I remember him. John Morrison, Brian mm -hmm. Darkham, mm -hmm. are those out, out those there names that are might familiar. remember them. Yeah. Um, they've been in touch with, with me. Yeah. So there's, there's still a few left. Right, right. You know? And what about you, Mary Ellen? Are, do you keep in touch with anybody? Me, friends? Mm -hmm. not, not so much. Not so much anymore. Yeah. No, not since we've moved out of Beverly. Yeah. Yeah, that would make a that would make a big difference. That would make a big difference. And I'm, uh, you mentioned Nancy Cavanaugh, so she and I have been friends through the years, partly because we were both in St. Mary's German Bugle Corps oh, in the yeah. in the color guard, and so because of that, yeah. we've we've you know stayed in touch. Yeah. And she's she now has a place in Beverly and in Georgia. Mm -hmm. So I don't see her. I don't see her so much right now. But um, I'm also part of a. There's a Beverly Women's Club that's relatively small. Just does a lot of social things. And um, Patty Z, Patty Porter, is at, very active in that. Yes. So I see her routinely, and that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So. You know, the, the name of this program, we decided to name it Thriving Together because people do thrive when they're together. It's not so good to be isolated. Right. It's not so good to be isolated. And I'm very conscious of the fact that different people can bring out the best in you or the worst. And there's some people we thrive with, and there's other people that we don't. And through the, through the years, we end up spending more time with people with whom we thrive, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what else? Can you think of anything else related to reunions that we haven't talked about that we should in the couple minutes we have remaining? Um, I enjoy them. I, I think it's a, a lot of fun why people... Uh, don't come, I don't know, yeah. you know, there could be reasons I'm, I'm unaware of, right. but if they're able, um, right. I wish they would come to the reunions yeah. because they, it brings back a lot of memories, you know, it was, uh, it does. Mary Ellen and I talk often about growing up in Beverly, it was fun, you know, uh, I, I enjoyed growing up here as a kid, uh, right to an adult. Yeah. Um, well, we live in New Hampshire now. When uh, did you move to New Hampshire? Well, I bought a, a small home up there on a lake in 2002. 
And when Mary Ellen and I met, she had a condo in uh, uh, part of Haverhill, uh, Bradford, I believe it was uh, the oh, city she okay. lived in. Yeah. And so we commuted back and forth while we were dating. Uh, on the weekends, we'd hoof it up to New Hampshire, and during the week, we'd stay in, in Bradford. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we decided to get married, we put both places up for sale and decided which one sold first, we'd move into the other one. Ah, and oh, interesting. Yeah, so her condo sold first, so we, she passed So that's up how with, you ended up in New Hampshire? That's how we ended up in New Hampshire. Just because your place in April sold first? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, not, I enjoy being there anyway, because right, it's right... right. We our house is right on the edge of a pond uh -huh. or lake. It's a small lake. <laughs> uh, it's called Powwow Pond. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Wow, that's um, yeah. That that's kind of fun to hear about that and think about how yeah. what turns our lives, what makes our I lives know. move in different directions. You never know. Yeah. I mean, Mary Ellen and I grew up together. Uh, a stone throw from each other's house. Mm -hmm. I grew up on Sawyer Road in Beverly, and Mary Ellen was in the Veterans Project. Right. Uh, and and I could throw a rock and hit her her, her <laughs> door on her house. You um, weren't throwing rocks at her though. No. 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 <laughs> no was, we've known each other since second grade. So. Yeah. We were wow. actually in the same wow. homeroom together in high That's school. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's one of the things to come back to reunions. When I go to the reunion, like I connect with Patty and we go together, and there is something that I'm feeling like I'm not going to know very many people. Patty was always fabulous to be with because she always <laughs> recognizes everybody. I don't remember names. I, I didn't so much when I was younger, and now forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. It's time to end, and I just want to say, Mary Ellen and Paul Mazurker. That's right. <laughs> thank you so much for being our guest today on Thriving Together. Well, thanks well, for having thank us. Thank you for inviting You're us. Cut. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Well,